New York City union workers are even sick and tired of the city, and most of them actually vote Democrat. And I could guarantee you a lot of them probably voted the current mayor, Eric Adams, into power. And people are saying that despite what the media says, there's actually a lot of New Yorkers that are loving Trump. Now, there has not always been like a small Republican presence in New York City, but it's never been super big, right? Trump, yes, people like him, but usually in New York, people dislike him. It's a very, very democratic city. We're seeing in the recent couple years, because New York City has crumbled so much, rampant shoplifting, rampant crime, subway crime is so high they send in the National Guard. Entire malls are closing in New York City because of intensive shoplifting crime. Now many New Yorkers are like, we need something to change, right? The current mayor is literally running the city to the ground. The population has dropped 8% in the past three to four years, and New Yorkers now now are loving Trump. Union workers are shouting four more years, we love Trump, I want a real president. Now, let me give you guys the cold hard numbers. After a meeting with Trump, the New York Union leader, Bobby Bartels, says that the Democrats are pushing people to be joining the other side. The Union leaders told other news agencies that he feels like the Democratic Party has basically pushed everyone to the other side in the last four years. Like I said, you got the migrant crisis going on. Shoplifting is everywhere. Is crime the highest in years? This is why so many people are leaving New York City. And after a meeting with Trump, it feels like many blue-collar union workers are moving to support the Republicans, especially because of the crime, high taxes, and immigration. You have people getting taxed over 50% in New York City, and what do they get in turn? more crime, and more of the migrant crisis. Says that in the past, we are basically Democrats, every single one of us. But after what's happened in the last four years in the country, Democrats are basically pushing all of us unit workers and other New Yorkers to the other side. Now, also says that they're very patriotic and love the US. They're tired of the current situation of New York City. And basically, President Trump is leading Joe Biden three to one in their most recent presidential poll out of 9,000 members in his union. This is a massive amount because it has never been like this. He pretty much said that in the past, basically every single person voted Democrat. But because of how badly the city has been run recently, now people are going for Trump. Look at this famous YouTuber of six to seven million subscribers, maybe even more at this point. This guy got famous from speaking Chinese in many of the Chinatowns in New York City and says he's leaving for New Jersey after 20 years. Pays over 50% in taxes, but what did he get in return? Very dangerous subways, very bad handling of crime, intensive shoplifting, and a massive migrant crisis that costs $10 billion a year. Says this is no longer a city that's safe, and it's also not a city to raise a family. And here's the thing about New York City. I think people are willing to pay the very high taxes if New York City has very low crime, very low shoplifting, and clean and safe subways. But no, the city is literally a dump, and you're paying some of the highest taxes, not just in the country of the U.S., but in the whole entire world. I mean, we all know that many of the Nordic countries, like Sweden, Finland, Norway, they all pay very high taxes, but at least have a very, very high quality of living. But in New York City, you pay very high taxes, you get nothing, but in fact, you get the opposite you get more crime. And check this out, New York City Mayor says there is only an average of six felonies a day that occur in New York City transit. Crime is down and subways are safe. I'm not really sure about this. If the subways are so safe, why did they send in the National Guard? And the New York City Mayor also says that crime and everything is all okay in New York City. Not really. You know, the population drops 8% in the past three or four years, something is up. If stores are closing at a record pace, something is up. Right now, many of the Harlem residents are fighting back. Says, you are useless to us. New York City resident has had enough. Blast the Mayor Eric Adams over the migrants. And basically says that they are the ones who pay taxes. The citizens are the ones who voted the current city council mayor into power. Why not spend a little bit of money on us? But instead, what New York City is doing is spending all of the money that taxpayers give them on the migrant crisis. Basically spending nothing on trying to combat crime, nothing on trying to shop, stop shoplifting. This is the current New York City, and no wonder so many of these unit workers are feeling very disconnected from the current administration. When 9,000 unit workers are changing their stance politically, something is basically up. Something very wrong is happening to New York City.
I mean, the governing of New York State is so bad. When almost 9,000 union workers are standing with Trump, when they used to be very, very Democrat, you know, you know the city is being ran very poorly right now. Let's see what happens. You know, I like New York City. I love the skyline. It's a great place to hang out. But right now, they really need to change because tourism is down, and I'm not going to New York anytime soon.